हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू दी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ओवर डिजाइन ऑफ प्रीशियस कंक्रीट स्ट्रक्चर्स थ्रू जे सी ई कनेक्ट ओके सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम टू कैलकुलेट the shear resistance of beam hmm, with respect to the uh, incorporating the shear developed by cable profile also okay so let us solve one more problem in today's for today's session to increase the to calculate the shear resistance of precious concrete beam okay so i'll go through the problem here hmm? so it is given a cross section of psc beam t section a cross section of psc beam t section overall depth is 1300 mm web thickness is 150 mm distance of top and bottom fiber from the centroid are 545 mm and 755 mm respectively at a particular section the beam is subjected to ultimate moment of 2130 kN meter and shear force v is equal to 237 kN effective depth is 1100 mm cube strength fck is equal to 45 newton per mm square then effective pressures at extreme tensile phase of the beam is 19.3 newton per mm square what the effective pressures at the extreme tensile phase of the beam is 19.3 newton per mm square moment of inertia is 665 into 10 is to 8 m is to 4 area of steel is 2310 mm square tensile strength of the tendon is 1500 newton per mm square effective stress in tendon after all losses is 890 newton per mm square estimate shear resistance of the section as per indian code okay so <coughs> the statement of the problem is too large here but you have to understand one by one okay so i'll just go and explain you once again the precious concrete beam is again t section okay and the overall depth of the section is given web thickness is also given and they are given the distance of top and bottom fiber from the centroid r 545 and 755 mm means they are given the location of centroidal axis okay so that is from top and bottom fiber and Uh, at a particular section the beam is subjected to movement and shear force these two values are given and the effective depth of beam is 1100 hmm? and cube strength fck is given and the effective pressures at extreme tensile phase of the beam is 19.3 newton per mm square the moment of inertia is 665 into 10 to 8 mm to 4 area of steel is given as 2310 tensile strength of the tendon is again uh, the fp is given as 1500 newton per mm square and then the effective stress in tendon sorry this is fp hmm? that is 890 newton per mm square estimate the shear resistance of the section as per indian code okay so here as i told you the total depth is 1300 width of the web is 150 the central resistance from bottom fiber and top fiber 545 mm and 755 mm okay so we'll start with the solution hmm. so first of all just we'll note down the given data so it will be easier hmm. <coughs> So the total depth is given as 
1300 mm and the capital D is given as 1100 mm hmm. and the width of web BW is given as 150 mm this is regarding the cross section ok then the forces that is movement is given as 2130 kilo Newton meter and the shear force V is 237 kilo Newton ok hmm. then the area of precious AP is given as area of shield or AP 2310 mm square hmm. then FP is given as 1500 Newton per mm square then FPT is given as 19.3 Newton per m square ok then FPE after all losses that is 890 Newton per m square ok hmm. so these are the given data hmm. now you have to find out see in the code ok if you go to is now as per is1343 so this is is1343 1980 uh, page number 47 ok 47 ok page number 47 there are two formulas are given to calculate the shear resistance so we have to understand first formula and second formula when you have to use first and second formula the second formula is given when the section is subjected to movement both movement plus shear In the first formula is we have to find out the shear resistance ok where the movement is not there so with respect to that we have to refer the formula ok hmm. so which is mentioned in uh, IS1340 1980 as per the given data you refer the given data so which given data uh, suitable for which formula that formula you have to adapt ok so here it is given as VCR is equal to as per this it is given as 1 minus 0 0.55 FPE upon FP to C B W D plus M naught V by M. Okay, so this is the formula mentioned in the code. So you can see here F P F P M naught M. It was not mentioned in the previous problem. So here in this problem it is mentioned. So you have to refer this formula. Okay, you check out the given data and the statement of the problem. Then you have to refer the formula either uh, the uh, first formula or the second with respect to that hmm. again <coughs> where m0 is equal to point 0.8 fpt i by yb ok point 0.8 fpt i by yb ok so it is point 0.8 FPT is given as 19.3, I is 665 into 10 is to moment of inertia is also given 8 divided by YB from the bottom, YB that is the distance of the centroid from the bottom fiber which is given as 755. Hmm. So, we will get this value as I will just check. So, we can uh, it is given y b and y t ok. So, in the problem it, itself it is given. So, y b it is given as 755 even I have shown in the sketch also and y t is 545 mm ok. Hmm. And even the moment of inertia is also given. Hmm.
Hmm? Now, hmm, so what we calculate here. into 10 to 9 Newton mm ok so we got the m naught this formula is also mentioned in the code hmm. now to obtain now next is you have to find out the value of tau c see m we know v we know so we are we don't know m naught so we have calculated so in this formula other things are we know it is given in the problem itself but tau c is not given so we have to find out tau c to obtain tau c to obtain tau c refer refer table number 6 again from page 47 ok <coughs> so for that we have to find out pt so our pt is given as 100 ap on pw into d ok so 100 area of precious is 2310 upon bw into d bd that is bw so 150 into 1100 depth uh, small depth ok so that is 1.4 here it is BD. So BD means any what? BW because uh, the shear, okay, it will be provided in the the Z part, okay. So that's why it is BW into D. So we'll get 1.4. So now we have to refer the table. So <coughs> so for that we have to interpret between 1.25 and 1.5. So our value is 1.4. So, for 1.25 the value is given as 0 0.74 and 1.5 is given as 0 0.7.78. 0 .7 so, after interpolation for this we will get the value as 0 0.77. So, this value we want it as after interpolation that is 0 0.77 Newton per mm square. Okay. Hmm. So, this again you have to refer from IS 1343 1980. Hmm. This code is very important for precious concrete. Hmm. Hmm. So, we got the value of tau c. So, this is nothing but tau c. Hmm. Now, we will go back and substitute in the formula. So, VCR is equal to you have to substitute in this formula. Okay, we have to show in this hmm? VCR is equal to one minus zero point five five into FP upon so it is given as FP upon FP. So FPE is eight ninety and FP is one thousand five hundred. Hmm? So, you have to how to understood which one is FP and which one is FP. So, it will it will be mentioned like the effective precious in tendon means effective precious means that will be FPE. See, this is effective precious, this will be effective that is what is FPE after all the CC the precious provided in the tendon is 1500 newton per mm square but after losses the stress reduced to 890 newton per mm square and that will be effective because after loss whatever is uh, considered that will be effective okay so after all losses that is effective precious means fpe 
when it is mentioned effective so that so it is fp and just if it is men mentioned precious in the tendonies then it will be the uh, initial not final so that is fp 1500 newton per mm square hmm? fp by fp so fp is given as 890 and fp is 1500 hmm? bracket complete into tau cbd tau c is 0 0.77 into BW is 150, D is 1100 hmm? and plus M0 is 1.35 into 10 is to 9 into V, V by M. So, V is given as 237 to make it in Newton and M is 2130 into 10 to 6 to make it in kilo Newton mm. Okay, understood. So, 1 minus 0 0.55 into FP upon FP into tau C BW D plus M0, which we have calculated here. M0, we have calculated, which we have calculated M0 into into v by m okay so we'll get vcr is equal to so we'll get vcr is equal to so what vcr is equal to 240 kiloton so we got the design shear strength is 240 kiloton and here we can conclude here the actual shear acting on the beam is that is V is equal to two thirty seven kilo newton. The actual shear acting on the beam is 237 kilonton which is less than which is less than shear capacity that is 240 kilonewton hmm? so the beam the shear acting on the beam is 237 kilonewton but the shear capacity of the beam is 240 kilonewton so the shear acting on the beam is less than the shear capacity of the beam. So, we can say ok not means we are not going to uh, uh, tuning the result like whether it is safe or unsafe no just we are going to conclude that that our beam has a more shear capacity than applied shear ok understood. So, this is for today's session okay thank you for the uh, listening okay